deep left. It is high. It is far. It is gone. He's done it again. It's unbelievable. He's done it again. I have run out of superlatives. He is the Santino. Gary is scary. He hits another home run, and the Yankees have an 8-4 lead. 10th inning, 3-3. Dodgers and Rockies. 0-1 oh to Charlie. Swung out on a high fly ball to deep left field to Dodger Ben Frankie. Did you believe a home run? And the Dodgers have clinched the division and will celebrate on schedule. Leave it to the Dodgers. Charlie Culver's in a game-winning home run. What a moment to have it. And would you believe his first home run of the year? Three and two. High fly ball to center, and that ball's hit. Upton going back. Back to the wall. Home run. No, he pulled it back. He took it right off the wall. The throw back to first. A double play. Oh, oh my. Melvin Upton has hit a home run and has now stolen one. Dansby Swanson cracks one to center field. That ball's well hit. Turner going back. It's over his head, and that's going to ricochet back toward the infield. Dansby's got two. He's on his way to third. They're going to wave him. Here comes the throw to the plate. Dansby Swanson is safe. It's an inside the park home run. His first. MLB The Show has baseball on tap from lovely City Field in New York. Tonight, game two of this three-game series between the Pittsburgh Pirates and the New York Mets. It'll be fun watching these two go at it. It's next on The Show. Noah Syndergaard, a right-hander from the state of Texas, is the man on the mound here. What's your take on him, Dan? Well, Matty, we get the opportunity to watch the reigning National League Pitcher of the Month go to work. So, obviously, I'm pretty excited to see about how he attacks these hitters. He's shown a lot of confidence on the mound right now, and that confidence can sometimes be a pitcher's greatest weapon. Here's Starling Marte. He carries the eighth-best batting average in the National League entering play. From the windup, the 1-1 pitch. Swing and that's hit out of play up into the plaza level. 67 degrees our game time temperature. One two pitches a slider that misses two and two. This is an interesting matchup Matt. These are two of the best players in the league. You got a possible MVP candidate in the hitter and a possible Cy Young Award winner in the pitcher. What a matchup. Ready with another 2 2. And a good pitch there as this is swung on and missed for the first out of the ball game. A chance here to check out the starting lineup for the visiting Pirates. Harold, what's the key for him against one of the best starters in the game? Well, Matt, this is a very aggressive club. They steal a lot of bases. They're not at the top of the league, but man, they're right there. They're not far behind. They will run at every opportunity they get to try to force mistakes. Here's Gregory Polanco. Career numbers versus Syndergaard. Three for ten. And that swung on and fouled straight back. Faces are empty. One man out. Now he gets on top of one here and chops it foul right at home plate. The one and two pitch. And a swing and a miss as they got him with the slider there, two away. And that'll bring up the versatile Jung Ho Gung. And he comes into this one really slumping. The numbers there over the past several games, not very pretty. Working on striking out the side in the first. And a great inning here as he gets another punch out and strikes out the side in order. Three up, three down, three strikeouts. Not too shabby. We're back with more on this Saturday night after this. Garrett Cole, 
is on the mound for game two. Dan Plezak, what's the word on him? Well, this guy's kind of unique. How about a five pitch repertoire that he has that gives him a lot of options for both righties and lefties. And if he's on, he could be really tough to hit. Ready now, Curtis Granderson. He comes in currently second on the team in home runs. Ready to deal. Here's the 1 1. Right over the middle, knee high. And here's a slider that runs inside that time, and that'll keep him from diving out over the plate. Even at two balls and two strikes, here's the pitch. And this will be fouled away. Into the windup, here comes the 2 2 pitch. He pulls this one into right. McCutcheon is there and he makes the catch for the out. With a moment here in Flushing Meadows, let's meet the Mets. H, what are they going to have to do to force a rubber match in this series? If you like the long ball, this is your team. Matt, they lead the league in homers. They sit back and let it fly. 2-0, 3-1, they're coming out of the shoes. This is going to be fun to watch. Here's Juan Lagares. His career line against Garrett Cole, one for three. Into his motion, here comes the three and one. And he missed with that one, it's ball four. A one out walk here in the home first. Batting third. Here's the third baseman, David Wright. He's back in the starting lineup for this one after sitting out last night's game. Runners on first with one down. Now a move over to first, and he's back standing. Ligaris run. Pitches a cold strike. The throw. And it's far too late as he steals second with ease. So he swipes second successfully, but you have to wonder now if that might actually end up taking the bat out of the hands of one of their better hitters. Well, that's a good point, Matt, but I'd be a little surprised if that's the case. It's still early and the game is tied, so that would be a pretty cautious move to pitch around him here or just walk him flat out. Uh, and a big curveball is in there for a called third strike, and there are two gone. It's never a good look to strike out looking, but it's way worse when you do it with a guy in scoring position. Those are the times you really want to see a guy battle and at least put the ball in play. Stepping in now, Michael Conforto. Called strike, and he's behind one and two. Well, Matt, this is a situation in last night's game. They didn't do a very good job driving in runs. Now, in this game, you capitalize on it. You grow from your mistakes and be able to... And we'll have to leave it there as this is strike three, and that will retire the side. Back-to-back -back strikeouts keep them out of danger. We're off to the second, scoreless on the show. Here's Andrew McCutcheon now. He begins this one with the fourth best batting average in the National League. Into the windup. Here comes the 0 2 pitch. And the sinking fastball called strike three, and that's out number one. Well, let's take a look at the Mets defense brought to you by Majestic. And they've got a strikeout pitcher on the mound today. He's in the top five in strikeouts. And when you're defending behind him, you have to really concentrate because he can lull you to sleep thinking there's two strikes, he's going to get a strikeout, but that's when they get a ground ball. You've got to really concentrate. Josh Harrison stands in. And he's been tearing the cover off the ball these past few days, as you see there. Set to deliver on two and one. Now a ball fouled down the right field line out of play, so that'll move the count to two and two now. Wow, he's cruising right now out there. Four straight punch outs and working on number five. And here's a ball hit in the air. Rivera ranging into the outfield to gone. Batting six. First baseman number 20. Here's David Freeze to stand David in. Freeze. And the home away splits tell us he's actually quite a bit better hitting on the road than he is at home. Into the windup, ready with the payoff pitch. 
There's a swing and a high drive into left center field. Lagaris going back to the track. He tracks it down, and that will end the inning. Down in order go the Pirates. We'll go to the bottom of the second. No score. Here now is his Drupal Cabrera. And as you can see, he's had some troubles here in his own ballpark. That's something he'll look to improve upon in this one. One one pitch coming now to Cabrera. This is pulled into right. And he will make the catch while ranging backward as he just put the glove up and hauled it in for the first down. All right, time for majestic defensive alignment for the Pirates. And I'm looking out there in the outfield of Gregory Polanco. This big kid, man, he's 6'5", 6'6", and I love the fact that he's got great range. But he's still learning how to play the outfield. Got all the tools, strong arm, great ability to catch. Let's just watch how he puts it together. Here's Lucas Duda now. He's hitting in the 270s on the season coming into this one. And he misses here for ball four. Already two walks surrendered in his first couple of innings of work. Well, this guy's been prone to giving up walks and bunches, and that's already two walks here in the early going. We'll see if this continues to be an issue for him as this start continues. Bottom of the second here with no score. He's running towards second, and there's ball four as this one gets away a bit. He's going to be pretty upset with himself about that 3-2 pitch. All you want to do in that count is make a competitive pitch. That one wasn't even sniffing the zone, and he let him get away. Set to get his evening at the plate started, T.J. Rivera. And it's been a real struggle for him with the bat so far this year, looking to get things turned around in a hurry. Harold, we look at this Pirates ball club as they enter play here tonight. They come in looking to make it two in a row as they were winners last time out. Yeah, Matt, I mean, the road trip got off to a solid start yesterday. Uh, uh, the way you want to start a road trip with a big win. So now the confidence is there. Everybody's happy, excited. Come out for early work, and you try to win this one here and really start a nice streak. And this is a strike three call. Oh, caught a break there. Two away. Well, that call looked like it was a little in the pitcher's favor, but it wasn't outrageous. Hey, listen, calling balls and strikes is a really tough job, and even the best are going to miss some from time to time, especially when they're sort of borderline like that last one. Not sure the hitter would want to hear that, though. In now, Noah Syndergaard. In for strike two. Well, he's got himself in a little bit of a jam, but I tell you what, he does a good a job as anybody. First and second, two outs. Now watch how he pitches on the corners and tries to get himself out of this. Breaking ball swung on in the dirt, and that ends the inning. A couple of walks, but no damage. More from the show. Saturday baseball following this message and a word from our local stations. Striding in, Phil Goslin. He's the number seven hitter, but he's leading off the third after the first six guys in the lineup have been retired in order. Yeah, it's been a great start to the guy on the mound. It'll be interesting to see if they can find a way to get to this guy before he really settles in. And this is taken for a called strike. Oh, that's a tough call. Now one and two. 91 mile an hour slider. Man, a lot. There's not many people that throw that one right there. That is the elite group right there. I would throw that pitch every time. Fly ball out toward left center field. Conforto on the move. Looks it into his glove, and there's one gone. And with that, we give you a look at what's happening in the NL East race. Cervelli. Here's the catcher, Francisco Cervelli. It was a three-hit effort from him last night, so he was a big part of that victory. Ready on one and two. Now a swing and a miss here as he's down on strikes. So it's two up, two down to begin the third. Another strikeout for him on the mound. And boy, is it fun to watch him go about his business. Uh, no doubt, Matty. He's one of my favorites, mostly because of his stuff. You know, he can absolutely dominate on any given day because of what he offers up there. It's just nasty. There aren't many hitters that like to see this guy on the mound. Coming to the plate now, Garrett Cole. And Dan, it seems like this starter is just dominating the game right now. Feels like we're seeing a lot of three up, three down innings. 
No doubt about that, Matt. Hey, I've enjoyed it. And the throw to first is there. The inning is over. One, two, three, go the Pirates. Home half of the third coming up. No score. In is Curtis Granderson. He'll lead things off against Garrett Cole. The 2 1 now to Granderson. And this is going to be a foul ball in amongst the spectators. Oh, right there. Sometimes you can just miss a ball. Doesn't mean you have to swing and miss, but that ball is right in this wheelhouse, and he didn't square it up the way he'd like to. He missed it. The 2 2 one more time. Swing and a drive to right. There it goes. Gone into the upper tank. A solo home run for Curtis Granderson. Number 13 for him on the year. And the Mets are on the board first, one to nothing. You beat the shift you hit it over the shift of course you can't play guys up in the sky so he lifts this one up and out of here into the box Juan Ligares and a change up here but that's taken low in the dirt for a ball into the windup here's the two and one pitch line drive to left and that finds some outfield grass. It's a base hit. Digging in to try it again. David Wright. 0 for 1 here in the early going. A runner at first with no outs here. Runners off for second. Pitch inside the throw. Way late, and he's in there easily at second. set and the two and one pitch tough slider down low for a strike and this is swung on and missed five quick strikeouts now and that's your first out of the inning really good late bite on that slider right there the best ones have that late action that just darts at the last minute they're so tough to get the bat on and when you've got that good slider going it's a great strikeout pitch Standing in now, Michael Conforto. Slider up that he gets a call on. Hit on the ground out to short. Gung is there. Throw gets him. Two down. Ready for another chance as Google Cabrera. And he's the reigning recipient of the National League's Player of the Month award. A throw behind the runner at second. Getting a few steps off a second there. Now the pitch. Takes a look at a strike over the inside corner. Hoping to send him packing. Pitch on its way. Now he lifts a high pop up. Drifting into foul territory on the right side. And Freese will make the catch, and that ends the inning. Mets draw first blood thanks to this solo home run. Three complete from City Field. It's one nothing Mets. Back with Harold Reynolds and Dan Plezak, Matt Vaskersian, as Starling Marte steps in to start the inning. And he comes back with a fastball one and two now and then that's a pretty good example of why he's such a great pitcher. Yeah stuff stuff is obviously the important key to being dominant on the mound 
but it doesn't mean a whole lot if you don't have outstanding control to go along with it. But he does, and he really spotted that pitch. Got him swinging on the fastball there. Starling Marte goes down to become the first out here in the fourth. Digging in for his second at bat, Gregory Polanco. 0 for 1 for him here in this one. Into the windup, here comes the 0 2 pitch. Swing and a miss on the fastball that time, out number two. So after getting the strikeout on the fastball, not a bad time to check out our pitch speed comparison for our two starters. And boy, you can see it there. A couple of power arms out there as both of these guys are working in the high 90s. Stepping in and ready for another shot, Jung Ho Gong. First two men in the inning have both gone down via the punch out, so we'll see if he can fare any better. And he struck him out, his eighth punch out of the ball game, and that one ends the inning. Down in order go the Pirates. They're down one nothing. So coming to the plate, Lucas Duda. He drew a walk his first time up. And there's a pitch that just misses the inside corner. That pitch right there, he's trying to keep him from getting his arms extended. If it's out over the plate more, he can obviously do a lot of damage with it. Throw on to first in time, one away. Now batting, catcher. Striding in Rene once again, Rene Rivera reached base via the walk in his first plate appearance. The 0 2 delivery. Got him swinging. Chased it well out of the zone, and there are two gone. Pretty textbook breaking ball for the punch out right there. Got it to bend a lot, and by the time it got there, it had fallen completely out of the zone. Not much you can do with that pitch. Stepping in now, TJ Rivera. No offer on that one. Two balls and a strike. That's an interesting pitch right there. Uh, let's see if that throws him off a little bit. He's been on a pretty good roll. He can't let it upset him. Just get back in the groove right here. Two and two now. Looking to punch him out again, the pitch. Swinging a soft liner, and this is taken for the out. Mets go down one, two, three, but they lead it one to nothing. Here's Andrew McCutcheon now. He starts off the inning against a guy who struck out the side last inning. How do they get to him here? I'm not sure, Matt, that they want to stay as patient. He's been throwing a lot of strikes. They might want to start swinging a little bit earlier in the count. And he punches out another one. Make it nine for the ball game. Boy, he's really on a roll on the hill right now. As we roll through it again, remember, he struck out the side in the last inning, and now he picks up right where he left off by striking off the leadoff man here. Let's see if he can keep this going for a little bit. In now, Josh Harrison. Hit on the ground down the first baseline, but a foul ball. One and two the count now. A ball and two strikes. Here's the pitch. Boy, and they cannot touch him right now. Five straight strikeouts on the ledger, and there are two away. A look at our line score to this point, and I'm almost certainly jinxing things by pointing it out, but it's worth mentioning that zero in the hit column through two outs here in the fifth. Here's David Freeze to stand in. He's 0 for 1 thus far. Hit on the ground out to short. Throw to first in plenty of time, and the side is retired. 1, 2, 3, go the Pirates. They're on the short end of a 1 to nothing score. Coming to the plate now, Noah Syndergaard comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ball game. And the pitch. A cold strike on the inside corner. 
trying to send him packing for the second time. And a fastball swung on and missed as they set him down for the second time here tonight. Good job of making him chase a pitch for the strikeout there. Now batting. Yeah, Matt, that's the advantage of getting ahead in the count. You can really force hitters to expand their zone of protect. And when they're in that mode, getting them to go after a pitch they can't do much with becomes a lot easier. Here's the one and one delivery. And there's a pitch that just misses the inside corner. You know, what I'm seeing here is a reluctance to throw the fastball. It's like he feels he can't throw the ball right by him right now. Fastball is looked at for strike two. Set to deal on two and two. Hit in the air to shallow center. Marte is under it. And he makes the catch for the second out. Center fielder number 12. Juan. Here's Juan Lagares. It was a single for him in his last at bat. Cole into the windup with the payoff pitch. Now a swing and a ball popped high in the air over toward foul ground. And he'll get under it to put it away in foul territory, and that ends the inning. Pretty painless half of the inning, all told. We're through five here at the ballpark. It's the Mets one and the Pirates nothing. Striding in once again, Phil Goslin. 0 for 1 for him here in this one. Even at a ball and a strike, here's the pitch. Line toward right center. But this will not elude the right fielder's grasp as he ranges over to handle it for the first out. So another exceptional effort for him on the mound. He's got the shutout working here as we'll show you the league ERA leaders. And as you see there he finds himself in sixth place in the category in the National League. Here's the catcher Francisco Cervelli. He's 0 for 1 thus far. From the windup the 1 1 pitch grounded to the right and the Pirates are in the hit column He's in. well it's taken quite a bit of time now we're into the sixth inning pitcher really was settling down nice well, that's the first hit of the game Garrett let's see maybe Cole. if they're able to make a little attack now into the box Garrett Cole now a bunt attempt here to Cabrera for one on the first it's a double play as their woes continue the inning is over make it six shutout innings as he continues to give them fits out there part of the order three four and five coming up the Mets lead it one to nothing here's the third baseman David Wright 0 for two with a couple of strikeouts for him so far. And he fires a fastball now for a called strike two. Two balls, two strikes, a crucial count for both pitcher and hitter. So, Dan, what was your approach on the mound in that count? Do you still pitch for the strikeout here? I think one of the keys, Matt, you want to try to initiate contact. But one thing you don't want to do, you don't want to run the count to three balls and two strikes. Whatever you want to throw, throw it over for a strike. One out, nobody on. Ah, and he pulled the string a bit too sharply there on a curveball as it's down around the shoe tops. Two balls and a strike. Here it is. Takes a good curveball at the knees. That's the perfect pitch after you've just brushed a guy back. The hitter probably isn't sitting up there thinking you're going to flip something soft up there. Dribbled up the line, and they'll just tag him out along the first base line. Here now is his Drupal Cabrera. 0 for 2 on his line thus far. And some action now in the Pirates' bullpen. They've got a lefty and a right hander up to throw. And this is taken for a cold strike, and he's not in love with that call either. It's 1 and 2 now. Cole's ready, looking to put him away here on a ball and two strikes. This should end the inning as it's sent out to second. And indeed it will. He throws him out at first, and the side is retired. Down in order go the Mets, but they hold a 1-0 lead. Welcome back to City Field in Flushing. 
Getting set for the seventh inning now with the Mets out on top. But first, let's check out the game summary through the first six innings of baseball. Here's Starling Marte. And guys, seventh inning already? Hey, I'm not complaining, but this one's been flying by. Yeah, I'll agree with that, Matt. That's what you get when both starting pitchers have it working. Neither of them have been nibbling around the strikes at all, and they've trusted their defense to make the plays, and they've done just that. Yeah, and it's resulted in a game that could really go either way in these late innings. Got him! And he goes down on strikes for the third time. Man, they've really had his number so far in this series. That's his fifth strikeout in this series alone. Standing in now, Gregory Polanco. Soft liner towards short. That gets down, and he's got himself a base hit. This guy is so strong, he just fought that ball off the left field. I know it's a little bit of a blooper right now, but it's going to be a line drive in the books when you look back. Stepping in now. Jung Ho Gong struck him out. Struck him out again, I should say. His third punch out of the game. Well, this has been a completely different performance from the offense that we saw yesterday. They were looking like the 27 Yankees 24 hours ago, but they've been held in check so far in this one. That's kind of how baseball goes, though. Uh, and that fastball's too much for him there. One and two. Boy, he's been great in this one. He's only one strike away from putting another zero on the scoreboard. Swing and a little blooper to center. Ligaris is there, makes the catch, and the side is retired. One left for Pittsburgh. They still trail one nothing. Tyler Glasnow gets the call now from the pen to take Pittsburgh. over on the mound and start Number the home seventh. Tyler Glasnow. Here's Lucas Duda now. Comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ball game. Swing and a miss on the fastball, and that's the first out. Nice job there taking care of the leadoff hitter via the strikeout. I'll tell you, in a one-run game, especially this late, getting that first guy in the inning is so important. It changes the whole complexion of the inning, so that was a big out. A one-and-one one count. Here's the pitch. And he lays off upstairs, but it's ruled a strike, and he can't believe it. One and two. Love that pitch right there. And he executed it perfectly. A big arcing curveball that starts at the batter's hip and then just bends onto the inside corner. A lot of hitters have a tendency to open up way too early, and they can't make good contact the on batter. that pitch. Second and that brings up the catcher, T.J. Rivera. No hits in two trips to the plate for him in the ball game. Ready to deal. Here's the 1-1. One -one. Took a wave at one around the shins with no luck. Got him to chase after the curveball below the zone there. That was a really nice pitch, and it can be a really tough one to lay off of as a hitter. A fastball down near the shoe tops. Ground ball left side. Harrison's got it. And that will conclude matters here in the seventh. Mets go down one, two, three. They lead it one to nothing. Ready once again, Josh Harrison. He's 0 for 2 thus far in this one. From the windup, the 1 1 pitch. A fastball right over the outside corner. Action in the Mets' bullpen now. It's both a lefty and a right hander that start to throw. Uh, trying to pick up that outside corner, but this misses, and it's back to even at two balls and two strikes. And this is fouled into the seats over from first. 
into the windup. Here comes the 2 2 pitch. Got him. As he just continues to mow down these hitters, 13 strikeouts now. Very tight no ball game so far. 1 0 the score as we take a look at our starter comparison, and both guys have given excellent performances to this point. Digging in to try it again, David Freeze. He comes in 0 for 2 thus far. Here he comes on a ball and two strikes. Struck him out and make it 14 punch outs now in the game. Pitching certainly has been on display in this one. And there's the evidence of it right there. One nothing our score as there are an awful lot of zeros on that line score to this point. Ready for another shot now. Phil Gosselin. It's been an 0 for 2 effort for him to this point. Now here's the pitch. And not a real good cut at that slider, and he's behind one and two. Well, Matt, they've all seen him at this point, and clearly they're not picking him up much better. Do you see the swing on that pitch right there? Nasty. Now a ball lying toward the gap in left center, and that's in for a base hit. Make it a one for three games so far. And he's going to make it there, barely, as he's Cervelli. in the second base with a double. Francisco Cervelli. And now with the possible tying run at second here, we're going to have a pinched runner as they try to get a little more speed out there. Into the box now, Francisco Cervelli. Ball two. Runner in scoring position at second with two down. Hit out towards second. Oh, and he has some trouble with it. And a great job to stick with it as he's able to make the play for the third out. Danger averted following the two-out double. Back with more on this fine Saturday night following this. Alan Henson will stay in the ballgame now as he comes on to play Pirates. second here. Now playing second base, number 37, Alan Hansen. Digging in once again, Noah Sindergaard. He's been great on the mound, so we'll see if he can do something with the bat here as well. He's earned the chance to take this at bat. Yeah, Matt, when a guy's throwing the ball as well as he has, it kind of forces the manager's hand to stay with him. He's been exciting to watch, and he's really had this crowd behind him the entire game. And he misses 2-1. and one. Gets the sign. Here comes the 2-1. Laid off as it caught the inside corner. Did you see the movement on that pitch? Started right at him and came back over the plate. That is that two-seamer with great movement. Swing and a ball hit to the left side, and this is going to wind up a souvenir. Even at two balls and two strikes, here's the pitch. And he struck out again. That's the third time he's gone down on strikes in this one. People always talk about how important getting the leadoff right, men on base is. And, and it's true. So in the eighth inning of a one-run game, that's a really nice job of attacking a hitter and sending him packing. One and two, here it comes. And Granderson swings and misses that time as he's down on strikes for route number two. Center fielder number 12. Here's Juan Lagares. One for two on his line so far in the game. Now it looks like a right hander's up and throwing in the Pittsburgh bullpen. Here's the one and one pitch. And that one right down Main Street. He's done a nice job of getting those two quick outs before the two hitters come to the plate right now because he knows what's sitting down there down the order. So you stay aggressive against those little guys, try to get them out the way. And that is through into right field for a single. That was really special. You know, he was down the count, and he just said, uh, I got a battle. He battled it through and got rewarded with the base hit the other way. In now, David Wright pitches a cold strike, the throw. And it skips in as he steals the bag easily. Looking to keep this a one-run game, the pitch. 
And a fastball. Mm, tough take there, but it's even back at two and two. Well, that two seam fastball ran a little too much off the plate, but now that sets him up to work with something away and maybe even an off speed pitch. He struck him out the third time he's fanned in the game. Met strand one, but they're up one to nothing. Jaron Jason will pinch hit here, and he's the potential tying run. Number 28. John Jason. Right there at the belt, one and two now. That pitch looked like it could have been a little high, but he's been calling that pitch all night. Kind of rough for a pinch hitter, but I'm sure his teammates let him know that's where the zone has been. Squared that one up just a little late. Tough pitch to lay off there, but he did, and it's even up at two and two. A two and two count. Here's the pitch. And this ball is lined into center field, and right off the bench, he comes through. It's a base hit. Time called here as no with the potential time run it. aboard, they'll make the Starting move to get a little more play. speed out there. Ready for another chance. Starling Marte. Three at bats for him in this one. All ending with him going down on strikes. Jerry Spamilia comes out of the bullpen to shut things down here in the ninth. Jerry Spamilia. Nobody out runner on first. And they'll play for the tie here as he puts this one down. But a strong throw gets him at second, so the sacrifice does not pay off here. Hey, that's a really difficult turn for a first baseman. You have to come get the ball, make a strong, accurate throw. So you need two good throws, not an easy double play to complete. Into the box. Gregory Polanco swing and a miss strike three the throw and it's far too late as he steals second with ease don't know if that was a true hit and run there with two strikes or not but he's into second base safely on the strikeout now batting Jung Ho Gong they'll go to work on getting that tying run home from second trying to hold the lead here's the delivery and that misses ball four so it's first and second now with two out the closer is supposed to slam the door in his opponent but he left the door wide right open fielder. with a walk there andrew we'll see if they McCutcheon. can capitalize on it here's andrew mccutcheon now not much in the way of productivity from him so far but he's got a chance to come through here in a crucial spot yeah he, it's time now that he has to put the rest of those bats behind it because none of that matters if he can clutch up when it really counts now this crowd of over 38,000 on their feet good job to spoil that one away and he stays alive one strike from a shutout here it comes now a swing and a chopper foul right at home plate has them down to their final strike here it comes and again he's unable to keep it fair but he's putting together quite a battle at the plate here's another 2 2 another foul ball and this battle will continue another 2 2 offering and that misses there so he runs the count full now well no doubt in my mind this has been the at bat of the night so far yeah. lined foul right over the Mets dugout another payoff pitch and this is fouled at the plate big spot two out possible tying and go ahead runs on base another one sent foul The 3 2 one more time. A swing and a ball to left field. That's going to get down for a base hit. 
And the tying run is going to score from second, and we are right back to where we started. I love the late inning at bats when you come Third up baseman, clutch right there. Five. Big hit, tie this game. John Harrison. Standing in now, Josh Harrison. Swing and a little tapper. And this one's chopped foul right at home plate. Ready with another two strike offering. This one's blooped out toward right center field. And nobody can get there in time. Base hit. And the go ahead run will score from second as they've taken the lead here in the late going. Well, that's a huge base hit. Anytime you get a hit late in the game to give you the lead in the ball game, you feel good about yourself. And his teammates are pumped up as well. Stepping in now, David Fries. He grounds it sharply to third. On to first, and that'll do it as they manage to not let this inning get out of hand. So disaster strikes here in the ninth as a late rally has certainly dampened the mood of these fans. On to the bottom of inning number nine. Four, five, and six coming up. It's the Pirates two and the Mets one. Tony now Watson takes the ball now in inning number, number nine, four. looking to close the door. Tony Watson. Stepping in and ready for another shot, Michael Conforto. Due up are the four, five, and six hitters, and they're hoping that this is the part of the lineup that can get something going. Yeah, only one run on the board so far for them. They just haven't had consistently good at bats. Swinging a ball hit on the ground, but this will wind up foul. Still 0-2. Set to deliver on nothing and two. Here it comes. The next 0 2 misses, and that'll move it to one and two now. Ready on one and two. Swung on and missed. Really fooled him that time for the first out. Well, we've seen some really good pitching from these guys in this one. The bullpen has looked sharp and have backed up a nice effort turned in by the starter. These days, pitching has become a full staff effort, and I've been impressed with the job these guys have done so far. Full count, here it comes. And he lays off ball four. So now the potential tying run here is aboard late in the game. Well, he gives up the walk, but that was a really good pitch. Might have been just out of the zone, but not by much. A lot of guys would have gone fishing for that pitch. So sometimes the hitter just outlasts you. Here's Lucas Duda now. He'll be looking for something he could drive into the gap and drive home that tying run from first. Time called here as with the potential time run aboard, they'll make the move to get a little more speed out there. He's set. Here comes the 1 1. Pitches a cold strike, the throw, and it's not in time, so Reyes has himself a stolen bank. Hey, 90 feet is a big deal when you're talking about a one-run game, so that's a little risky. But, hey, sometimes you have to be aggressive and force the other team to stop you. Good fight to that sinker as he gets him to swing through it for route number two. Well, this pitching staff has done a pretty good job right there. That's now, the fourth Patty. time he struck Catcher. out, and we're only in the Ray second game Rivera. of this series. Antonio Bastardo takes over on the mound now as he'll try to get the final out of the ball game here and pick up a save. Rene Rivera will be his first assignment upon entering as he'll bat with the runner in scoring position here and two away. Two 
two out here and a runner at second. And he misses ball four. So he comes out of the bullpen and immediately walks the first man he faces. Well, that was a slider in a 3-2 count. And it just didn't tempt him enough to get a good swing. A good job of pitch recognition and knowing the strike zone to draw the free pass there. Action now in that pirate bullpen as a left-hander starts to heat up down there. Neil Walker will be called upon here to hit with the game on the line. Neil Walker. Tried to stay back on the change up there, but this is chopped foul at home plate. Now that's some good hitting. You hit the cliche good hitting, but that is. He fouls off a change up with two strikes. Very difficult to do. And he just manages to get his hand in. Two big outs here, but the tying and winning runs are both out there. Struck him out, so he'll strand the possible tying run at second, and a great job of working out of trouble as this ball game is over. Yeah, and that's just a punch to the gut of the home fans as they watch their team fall behind at the top of the ninth. Then they can't get it done at the bottom and come away with a loss. Close one tonight, 2-1 to one the final score. Tyler Glasnow earns his third win of the year in relief. So that'll put a wrap on things here this evening. For my partners, Harold Reynolds and Dan Plezak, I'm Matt Vaskersian. This has been a presentation of MLB The Show. For more, follow us on Twitter at MLB The Show. Here now is our final line score tonight for the victorious Pirates. Two runs, six hits, no errors. They left five. High deep drive into left field. Down into the corner again. And Intendi near the wall. Leaps. He's hung up. Did he catch it? Oh, you got to be kidding me. He took one back. A spectacular play by the rookie. Hung up by the hips on the wall, and he brings it back down the left field line. What a sensational play. And again the 2-2. And here it is. And swung it. Hit the left field deep. Wait.